The Apostle of the Rosary. That's how Pope St. John Paul II described Blessed Bartolo Longo, founder and benefactor of the famous Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii. This year, the Shrine is celebrating the 150-year jubilee of the arrival of Blessed Bartolo in the Valley of Pompeii. Ecco, ritornare all'esperienza di Bartolo Longo a distanza di 150 anni. To return to the experience of Bartolo Longo 150 years later has a profound meaning. It's that of reawakening the enthusiasm, that dormant enthusiasm of finding once more the zeal of investing in hope. Bartolo Longo didn't leave things how they were. His arrival in the Valley of Pompeii in October of 1872 wasn't planned. It happened by the will of God because God places men in history and seeks situations that will bring about a new beginning. The new beginning for Blessed Bartolo Longo was marked by his conversion back to the Catholic faith, a faith that in the 1860s he had abandoned during his university years in Naples. Under the influence of friends and professors, he had fallen into the world of spiritism and the occult, adhering as well to the anti-clericalism so common in Italy during those years. Bartolo Longo è stato un profeta. Bartolo Longo was a prophet. He is for us a prophetic figure, an anticipator of the times. We read about his life, his writings, and we realize that there we can find so many useful examples also for our existence. Today, we are experiencing so many crises. I'm thinking of the dozens of conflicts in the world, the violence that appears to dominate social and even family relations, the indifference towards the suffering of the most fragile. Bartolo Longo was an anticipator, a prophet of non-discrimination, of inclusion, but Bartolo Longo also lived in difficult times, and he confronted them with the strength of his faith and hope in his heart. Bartolo Longo reacquired that faith and hope thanks to the spiritual direction of a Dominican, Father Alberto Radente. Due to his encounter with the order of preachers, the Dominicans, the future blessed matured in his Marian devotion and his prayer of the rosary. In 1871, Bartolo became a third order Dominican. Possiamo dire che nel rosario... We can say that in the rosary, with every Hail Mary, Bartolo Longo had in his heart the full confirmation that he was on the right path. Without the rosary, there would have never been May 8, 1876, when the first stone of our shrine was placed. Without the rosary, there wouldn't have been May 8, 1887, when the painting of Our Lady was crowned. Without the rosary, there would not have been built a new city that was then established as a civil municipality in 1928. The arrival of Blessed Bartolo Longo in the Valley of Pompeii took place in 1872. He came to Pompeii to take care of some business affairs for the Countess Mariana Farnanaro de Fusco, who possessed a large part of the Pompeian estates. And it was precisely here, while he was walking in the Pompeian fields, that Bartolo Longo heard a mysterious voice that told him, if you propagate the rosary, you will be saved. E qui che sentì una voce. And here he heard a voice that suggested that he spread the rosary a promise from Mary. He heard her say in his heart, he who propagates the rosary is saved. And from that intuition, from the spark, were born the shrine and the works of charity, and a city arose around the shrine and the works of charity, the new city of Pompeii. And that moment, 150 years ago, became history. And it is the story that we're living today. And here in a valley that at that time had around 1,000 inhabitants, Bartolo Longo founded the Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii. Quando Bartolo Longo giunse... When Bartolo Longo arrived in October of 1872 in the Valley of Pompeii, he heard that interior inspiration. If you seek salvation, propagate the rosary. It's Mary's promise. 
Whoever propagates the rosary is saved. The young Longo who arrived here at Pompeii was a man like us. Certainly he didn't fully comprehend the meaning of those words, but his heart told him that that was the will of God. And he didn't do anything but put it into practice, as the Virgin Mary did, and he promised to stay in Pompeii to propagate the rosary. A Pompeii per propagare il rosario. Bartolo Longo was beatified by St. John Paul II in 1980, becoming the first layperson belonging to the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem to be beatified. Thank you.